If you were to stand on a street corner hollering that the government is poisoning our water supply, you'd probably get little more than eye rolls and head shakes. But do the same thing in a radio booth, and you might just get a million listeners a day. Such is the case for Alex Jones, a man who trades in such sinister conspiracy theories, you have to wonder if he really believes half of what he says. Dan Harris went to Texas to find out. Are you for Hitler or against Hitler? Whatever they say is the opposite. They never tell the truth. To Alex Jones, the world is a very dark place. America has been captured. America is being robbed. We are now being looted like a third world nation. Well, I'm not going to sit down and shut up. World government means world tyranny run by a scientific dictatorship of control freaks that want to carry out forced population reduction. Do you actually believe everything you say? I believe all of it, absolutely. What I'm telling is the truth. None of it is, you know, a, a shtick, uh, a show at all? No. It's all true. Jones is arguably the nation's premier purveyor of what could be called paranoia porn. The Obama deception. The truth strikes back. I'm live in 30 seconds. All right. His oh six-day-a-week radio show and webcast reach an estimated one million people a day. This federal intrusion is out of control. And on YouTube and elsewhere, Jones estimates 200 million people have seen his various... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. It is Friday, the third day of September 2010. And uh, we've had Salon come out and basically attack me yesterday. Uh, the New York Times come out and report on us. Uh, and more than 100 newspapers. I, I, I didn't even have time this morning when I searched my name to look at one-tenth of the stories. And, of course, uh, last night I got a call uh, from some family who noticed that on ABC Nightly News, they promoted the fact that on Nightline Tonight, the number one purveyor of paranoia porn. Of course, uh, the New York Times and others have called Gerald Salente uh, the purveyor of pessimism porn. They said that, what, three years ago when he said that the uh, stock market was going to plunge, and that the housing bubble would pop, and they're still calling him that when he can just look at the basic facts like any other economist or researcher who's telling the truth can do. And uh, this, this hit piece is very sophisticated. And a lot of times I don't cover uh, even national television reports about myself just because we're too busy covering all the other important news. But I'm going to cover this first today. Then we're going to get into all the news. We have several guests on as well on the Second Amendment, uh, on the naked body scanners, you name it, uh, coming up today. But the reason I want to lead with this report when we come back from break is that it is a bird's eye view into how they manipulate, how they brainwash, how they condition people. And there's so many different layers uh, to this propaganda. I mean, one obvious one is they come in and say, and use a short clip out of context, where I say either Hitler is good or either Hitler is bad. And the image and idea is basically this guy's Hitler. And they also talk about if you're a kook on the street corner, people laugh at you. But if you've got a radio show, people pay attention to you. So the message is this guy's a kook. But they were here for a whole day. And I gave them documentation for everything that I covered. And they basically implied that I'm exaggerating and making this stuff up. But the most dominant message was over and over again, is he serious? Does he really mean what he's saying? And, and, and the idea is that I am a charming kook uh, who has built this media empire uh, and that I don't really believe what I'm saying. Well, that's why we have Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I'd say 95% of what we cover here is just open source legislation, government documents, and we're breaking it down. Of course, I believe everything I talk about here on this broadcast. So it's all about demystifying Alex Jones. It's all about just basically saying that I'm exaggerating and hyping things uh, and that things aren't as bad as I say and that, oh, I'm going to cause dangerous people to do violent things. So, so they basically threw the kitchen sink at me and it backfired, of course. We'll be right back. We have seen a mega hit piece by Nightline. Nightline is the most viewed television news program, broadcast television. Uh, it reaches conservatively 7 million uh, people a night. That's, that's conservatively what it reaches. And they, and they also, I'm told, have been airing pieces of this on the ABC Nightly News. 
Uh, I'm kind of proud of myself. It was about 9.30 when I got word that in about an hour, 10.30 Central Time, Nightline was coming on. It took my wife and I about an hour to get the television set working for us to be able to even watch it after the children had been put to bed. It took an hour to get the TV working to watch television. That'll give you an idea how much TV I watch. In the garage where I run on the treadmill almost every morning, the only way I can make myself run is to watch movies, typically action movies, things like that, so I can kind of shift into uh, suspended disbelief and forget that I'm jogging, something I hate to do. Uh, so I, I, I do probably watch 45 minutes a day of television. And it's just all laced with propaganda and conditioning. And I do learn quite a bit about what the system's doing. And, and I do watch excise clips of a spectrum of international television, national, local television on YouTube and Google every day. And then I send those select clips of things that I think are important to Curtin M.O., Paul Watson, Steve Watson, Aaron Dykes via IM, or I call them and say, post this, please. So, so I am watching television. I am up on what they're doing, but I tend to watch boil downs uh, of it. So I, I did spend an hour. And we were we were able to uh, tune in with the uh, to, to the digital TV with the digital rabbit ears, uh, and actually uh, catch uh, what was going on there uh, on Nightline. And uh, yeah, I was a little concerned because there's been some vicious hit pieces in the past that do the old frontal assault. This guy wants to kill cops. This guy might be a secret white supremacist. This guy might be in league with Chinese jet pilots from Pluto. Uh, you know, this guy believes in chubacabras and aliens. I mean, they've that's one of their most popular disinfo things is that I'm a UFOologist when we don't even cover that here. You know, when he's not covering chubacabras and little green men, he thinks the government's poisoning your water. This piece is more sophisticated. Um, number one, with these TV pieces, they must put an obesity lens on me. I mean, I'm not svelte. I'm not to toit, uh, as uh, Fat Bastard would say in uh, one of those, uh, what were those stupid movies? Uh, the uh, Where they make jokes about uh, Austin Powers, yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, certainly uh, they uh, put the, uh, they put the, uh, fat bleeper lens on me every time I'm on television. And I know what these $100,000 cameras do. If they're tuned right, it actually doesn't add 10 pounds to you, but they do something that always adds about 20 pounds to me, uh, which I always think is comical. So they did that. They did unflattering shots. Anybody that's in television knows this. Uh, they uh, did some basic stuff like that. They put this out-of-context clip where I said either Hitler's good or Hitler's bad, giving you the idea that I'm into Hitler. They use some fascist-looking iconography from the Obama deception to describe that's what I'm pushing when I'm actually showing the globalist uh, in a fascist light with fascist-looking uh, graphics. So there's all the visual things uh, they were doing. And they, 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 of course, prejudice the entire piece in the opening salvo uh, by saying, you know, if somebody's screaming this on a street corner, you just think, oh, this guy's a lunatic kook and keep walking and shake your head. But this guy's got a radio show at least reaching a million people a day. That's what I told him, two million a day. That's what our analysis shows. But they went out and researched and they, they think it's a million a day, whatever. Uh, and we told him 200 million just of my films being seen uh, on YouTube and Google. It, it, it's probably 300, 400 million. We don't know if, if you count everything. Uh, and so they played that down as well. But but still, oh, he reaches a lot of people. He's dangerous. And he's the purveyor of pessimism porn. Or 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 a, 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 a new term, paranoia porn. I'm sorry, that's Gerald Salente and others that criticize derivatives and the end of the Glass-Steagall Act and private banks being able to issue trillions in fake counterfeit money. Uh, they call that pessimism porn if you criticize government or the economy or unemployment or toxic waste or the Gulf spill or anything. That's pessimism. No, no, I'm paranoia porn. I'm a purveyor. You know, the stuff that we put on air, you got to put in a black bag when you leave the shop. Porn, you know, that idea of it needs to be censored, it needs to be put in a red light district, it needs to be curtailed, and then, oh, I'm, I could cause people to commit violence. And so they just go down the line 
a six and a half minute piece that is a window into pure brainwashing. Stay with us.